hello users and um <clears throat> welcome to uh another episode of above it all and uh gonna make a video about my good friend Larry Cudlow here and uh he's got a message for Americans so let's see what it is again uh, the economy is not gonna be closed down again uh, there may be certain places where there is that's up to the local authorities I, I don't deny that but um, fatalities are still down and there's a lot of positive declines in cases just as there are negative declines so, you know, you just have to walk through that. You just, no, just got to walk through it. Now, we're not getting that advice. Just no. Unemployment below 10% by years in, that's, that's a lot different from what uh, the... Uh, I like how this guy's mid-walk. Uh, I, I, I don't think so. I'll, I'll check that. But I'm pretty sure that's, I'll, I'll, that's I'll, very close. To I'll, 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 I'll check, I'll check that. Uh, but by the end of this county... And that's um, a lot of private economists are saying. Yeah. That we're still looking for a strong second half. Many people. Plus. And by the way, today's unemployment, a uh, week unemployment claims fell to the 12th straight week. And continuing claims, which kind of predict unemployment rate, uh, dropped by 7, 8,000. That's a good one. That's so pretty good. That's pretty that. good. Look, we're going to struggle through this. We're going to. We're going to. But I'm still in the deep camp. We're going to struggle. Thank you. I'm going to struggle through this. I love Larry Kudlow. He's so good. Dude, if you don't know Larry Kudlow, this guy gets drunk on fucking Fox News, like, at least maybe once every two days, every other day, and he does, I just, I love him. He's so fucking good. My my favorite um interview was when I think it was with uh, Judge Janine or some shit, and they were both, like, wasted out of their assholes, but they were talking about, Trump, Trump's going, going you, know, a lot, you know, a lot of people are saying, many people. You know, man, many people are saying economy not going to be, you know, met, you know, they got top economists, you know, from uh, George Mason University, top economists, and, uh, you know, they, they said, many people, they said, they tell me that many people's not, not, they're, they're not the many people, but they tell me about the many people, and they say that, you know, there's many people out there, and I'm taking for the word. But yeah, this, this whole idea that the economy's not going to be closed down again. All right. You know what? All right. Let's not close down the economy. So everyone wear their masks. Donald Trump, national mask mandate. Let's go. If 80% of American civilians, when going out of their house, wore masks, guess what? Coronavirus would be eliminated, eliminated within months. But are those, are those fuckers going to do it? No, because you don't want to know why. 55% of, of Republicans do not believe in soap. They do not believe in germs. 55% of Republicans do not believe in germs. 20% have said that they've never washed their hands. Okay? These people are fucking freak shows. They don't believe in germs. They don't believe in science. They don't believe in fucking anything. So here's my message to Republicans watching me. Why do you do your dishes? Why do you wash your dishes? Why do you buy soap? You know George Soros is heavily invested in the soap industry? Why are you giving your money to George Soros? Just stop buying soap. Are, do you get soap because CNN or Fox News told you to? Do you see those advertisements on TV for soap and you go like, wow, I must have the soap. Are you a corporate consumer? Are you brainless? Why are you buying soap? Why do you take showers? Imagine the time you could save because you're an efficient worker. You have an efficient work ethic, right? So imagine the time you can save just skipping your morning shower. The money you'd save by skipping your shampoo, just never buying body wash. You, you don't need it. The, the money on the water bill that you would save, think of it. You're a conservative, right? You're a fiscal conservative. You know, like you, 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 like you know how to balance a budget, right? Why are you wasting expenditure on the soap stuff? Like, have you ever gotten food poisoning? Probably not, right? Like, you know, like, why, why are you wasting your money on soap? Come on, man. Be smart. You know, George Soros is heavily invested in the water utility companies, right? Like, are you really that dumb? You're giving your money to Soros? Why? So you can smell like a peach or something? Like a, like a fucking loser? Like a soy boy? No, but seriously, though, if everyone wore masks, coronavirus would stop existing. Don't ever, ever let anyone gaslight you into thinking anything else. If you see someone in public without a mask on, shame them. Shame them. They are disgusting. 
they are a psychopath and they are a criminal and they should be treated as such and th again it's not like like Wearing a mask is super simple. Like it's not like no, like it's not like everyone's asking you to do like 38 jumping jacks because we all know 38 jumping jacks or someone of your physique, you know, as a Republican fiscal conservative, we all know 38 jumping jacks is not something you're capable of. So, like wearing a mask is so goddamn easy, and it literally has no downsides unless you're a fucking loser. Okay, like seriously, I literally cannot fathom the world that we're living in. A hundred thousand people are dead because of a bunch of stupid snowflake pussies. They're like. I don't want to wear a mask. <laughs> Dumb motherfuckers. Also, Larry Kudlow is fucking funny as hell. <laughs> if y'all ever see any more Larry Kudlow clips, please send them my way.